Hey, it's Spiros from The Self-Help Photographer. Today we're talking about what happens when we take a photo. When we take a photo, our camera records a specific amount of light to make an exposure. Remember, exposure is the total amount of light reflected off of a subject and recorded by our camera. We need a specific amount of light in order to have our subject well lit. See, if we get too much light, the picture is going to be overexposed. And if we don't get enough light, the picture is going to be underexposed. In the last video, we learned that aperture and shutter are the two ways we control how much light gets into the camera. So let's see how these two things work. Let's start with aperture. Aperture either blocks or lets light in, depending upon the size of the opening. Whereas shutter is purely a function of time. The longer the shutter is open, the more light is going to get to the camera sensor. Now these two functions work together. Let's say, for instance, that we need four units of light in order to record a well-exposed image. If we have a tiny opening in our aperture, it's only going to let in one unit of light at a time. If it takes a quarter second for one unit of light to come through that aperture, we would need one second in order to collect all four units. One one thousand. But if we open up the aperture wider, we can let two units of light in at a time. If we're letting two units of light in at a time through that aperture, and we keep the shutter at one second, we're going to get eight units of light instead of four. Then we're going to have a picture that looks something like this, and this is no good. To compensate, we have to cut that shutter time in half. So instead of being open for one whole second, it's only open for half a second, catching four units of light instead of eight. So you see, when one of those things changes, the other one has to change in order to maintain a specific amount of light being recorded by the camera. Now, let's see this in action. If you don't have your camera handy, I want you to pause this video and go get it. Now, turn on your camera and take a look at your display screen. Here you see the screen for my camera. And you see the number with the F next to it? That's the number that indicates the size of the aperture opening. This number here indicates how long the shutter will be open. Now, I want you to do something here. Take your camera and look at your mode dial. It should have a P on it. Turn the dial to the P. Point your camera at the screen, press the shutter button down halfway like you were going to take a picture, and look for two numbers like the ones I just showed you, the F number and the shutter indicator. Now, point your camera at the floor and do the same thing. The numbers should be different. This is your camera deciding how much light it needs for an exposure and setting the aperture and the shutter. So right now you're probably wondering, how does the camera know how much light it needs? Let me explain. Inside your camera, there's a brain. It's called the camera meter. And what this does is it reads the light reflecting off of the subject and into the camera. It then compares that data to all the data it has inside its little camera brain, and then it picks an aperture and a shutter speed to collect the specific amount of light for an exposure. So when you actually snap a picture, this is what happens. You press that shutter button halfway down and you get that beep. That beep means the camera has read the scene, evaluated the light, and then chosen an aperture and a shutter speed to capture the specific amount of light. When you press that button down, the aperture inside the lens closes to the specific size, the shutter opens for a predetermined amount of time, recording light, and then it closes, and boom, you've got yourself a picture. Alright, so now that we've got a bit of an understanding on how this process works, we can start to learn how to manipulate and change the process. In the next video, we're going to talk specifically about the aperture. Alright, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter and let me know of any topics that you might want me to cover in future videos. Now get out there and take some damn pictures. Ah, but before you do, make sure you like this video. See you guys next time.